I never thought I'd be able to go to Russia, but here we are in St. Petersburg. The Peterhof Palace was commissioned by Peter the Great as a part of his goal to modernize and westernize Russia. It's often referred to as the Russian Versailles. Most of the building of the Peterhof complex was constructed between 1714 and 1723. Peterhof served as the residence of Russian royalty for over 200 years until the empire ended in 1917. During World War II, German forces destroyed parts of the complex but afterwards the structures were rebuilt. Since then, Peterhof has been a museum and a park for visitors and tourists. There are nearly 200 fountains and four cascades at Peterhof Park. The park has a unique fountain system that requires no pump. Water for the fountains is supplied by a gravity-fed system over 22 kilometers long. The fountains are only in operation from April to October each year. On the way back to St. Petersburg, we pass by Konstantinovsky Palace is the official summer residence of the Russian President Vladimir Putin. St. Petersburg was Russia's capital city for over 200 years until it was changed back to Moscow during the Russian Revolution. St. Petersburg is Vladimir Putin's hometown.
the Narva Triumphal Arch was erected in 1814 to commemorate the Russian victory over Napoleon. There's daylight 24 hours a day for about three weeks each summer, from mid-June to early July. There are 15 cities in the world that share the name St. Petersburg. St. Nicholas Naval Cathedral is a major Baroque Orthodox cathedral in St. Petersburg. The main church is dedicated to St. Nicholas, a patron saint of sea men, and the Feast of the Epiphany. The Yusupov Palace was once the primary residence in St. Petersburg of the House of Yusupov. The Yusupovs were an immensely wealthy family known for their philanthropy and art collections. More than 40,000 works of art, including works by Rembrandt, decorated the palace, but were relocated to the Hermitage and other museums following the Russian Revolution. The palace was also the scene of the assassination of Rasputin on December 30, 1916. That room has been preserved with some of the original furnishings and creepy wax figures of Rasputin and his assassin. Yeah. <laughs> 
St. Petersburg has around 800 bridges. Peter the Great originally envisioned the city to be like Venice. St. Isaac's was originally built as a cathedral, but was turned into a museum by the Soviet government in 1931 and has remained a museum ever since. In 2017, the governor of St. Petersburg offered to transfer the cathedral back to the Russian Orthodox Church, but was not accomplished due to protest of the St. Petersburg citizens. That's all for this episode of Walking Around with Herb in St. Petersburg, Russia. If you like these videos, please subscribe and we'll see you next time.